Uh, so you are thinking about moving to the Atlanta, Georgia area, and you are looking for someone to be able to guide you on where are the best places to move, where are some good places to eat, what schools should you be registering your children to, and all that good jazz. And so if you are looking and you're like, man, I wish I had somebody to tell me the bird's eye view, right? I can read Google. I can do that, but I need somebody who can give me the look, the feel, the vibe of the area. Well, you are watching the correct video. That would be me, my friends. So my name is Lorena. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. On this channel, we talk about all things moving to Atlanta. And so, you know, we have the fun stuff, right? Where to go eat, where to go have fun at different activities. We have some of the logistics stuff, how to transfer your license to Georgia, how to update your voters registration, how to get your kids enrolled in school and all that good stuff, right? But today's video is all about a map tour of the Stockbridge area. Now you may not be familiar with Stockbridge, but that's okay because we're going to get into it right now. Oh, Stockbridge, Georgia, where is it? Stockbridge, Georgia is a city located south of Atlanta. So you may hear this area referred to as the Southern Crescent area. So it's south of Atlanta. It is located in Henry County. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with the Stockbridge, you might be familiar with one of the neighboring cities. And so there's Jonesboro, there's Hampton, Lovejoy, uh, there's Rex, there's Morrow. Um, you can actually get into, and we'll, you know, see some of this on the map, but you can actually get into Stockbridge, Georgia by taking 75, or you can get over by 285 or even 675 to be able to enter. Now, if, now, as far as the high schools in the area, if you have children that are, you know, looking to go into high school or you just want to, you know, purchase a home based off of the school district, you're going to be looking at Stockbridge High School. You're also going to be looking at Woodland High um, and Eagles Landing High as the high schools in that Stockbridge area. Now, uh, as far as the home types, and so, like I said, um, Stockbridge gives you that old regal vibe right and so you know before they started building out there in mcdonough and you know uh building up in some of these other locust grove and some of these other southern cities these cities that are south of atlanta Stockbridge was that was that spot <laughs> Stockbridge had the nice big homes with a lot of land and you know they had the premium this and a premium that, like that was that area, um, you know, and so it still has some remnants of that feel um, to it as well, but yet still almost like the Southern Bell charm. Um, so if that makes sense. So if you look on the screen, I'm going to put the diversification of Stockbridge, a small chart um, that you can kind of get the vibe of the diversification in the area. But as always, I'm going to put a link down in the description. And so if you want to take a deeper dive, if that's something that's important to you, then you're able to do that as well, as well as like the crime and things of that nature. So you'll be able to take a deeper dive into those things. All right. So now when you are looking at the different houses, like I said, you're going to see like those bigger home style homes, uh, brick, all brick homes, um, or you might see like the front is brick and the rest society, single family homes. You're going to see um, some town homes. Um, and depending on where you are, you could see a few condos just because not too far from Stockbridge, more so in Peachtree City, uh, which is probably... Mm, 30 to 40, maybe pushing 45 minutes, stretching it um, is kind of where they are um, building or they have built uh, studios. So like um, for actors and actresses and you film and things of that nature, there's a whole studio up in that area as far as in Peachtree City. Um, and if you're interested, let me know. It's, it's not in one of those counties I name. It's actually in Fed County, which is Peachtree City. But if you're interested in Peachtree City, you want me to do a video, drop it below. And if I have enough um, interest, I will make a video about Peachtree City. So now let's talk about the population of Stockbridge. So Stockbridge has about 20,000 uh, plus people that live in the city of Stockbridge. Um, in Stockbridge, there's a ton of things to do from, you know, uh, dining, 
um, to like that Southern cuisine, you know, you know, like that soul food or that peach cobbler, like that Southern food uh, has a lot of that in the Stockbridge area. But in Atlanta in general, you're going to see wing places everywhere. So whether it's American Daily, Wing Stop or what have you, it seems like there's a chicken spot or wing spot, you know, on every corner, much like if you Go to other cities, I'm sure, especially those that are on the coast, you'll see seafood in pretty much every corner. So that's how it is in Atlanta. And because um, Stockbridge is a suburb of Atlanta, it is no different. But there's going to be a ton of brunch spots and just a lot of things going on. Now, I will say as far as like job opportunities, you're looking more of like um, industrial, factory, manufacturer type of opportunities and of course there's opportunities with the local uh, city Um, or you know nowadays people work virtually so you can you know work from home but if you're looking for like those um, are like Amazon manufacturers and stuff like that but if you're looking for like those corporate fortune 500 100 drops you're going to have to drive into Atlanta and from Stockbridge going into Atlanta you know depending on when you have to be there and where you're going you, you might as well book an hour. So if you have to be there at eight o'clock, you need to be leaving your house probably at seven o'clock or even 6.45 a.m. It's probably going to be better for you as far as that travel and commute uh, because those highways get really jammed, especially during those rush hour times. Um, but they are some back roads, but you know, until you're familiar with the area, just take the highways. Now we are on the map, the Google map. And so when you see these red dots, um, that's kind of the area, the perimeter of Stockbridge. And so um, right here is Stockbridge. Then you have Stockbridge High School right there. Um, this is a major road that can lead into Stockbridge. It's going to be Jodico Road. Um, you can get to the area by taking um, 75 and you could also again take um, 285 and you can take 675 to be able to get into there um, if you are not staying with friends or family there's hotels that's going to be in the area um, for you to be able to you know stay at while you kind of explore the area as well um, there's the Ingles right here, as I was referred to as one of the grocery stores. So they have Ingles, they have Kroger's in this area. Um, there's a Publix in this area as well. And then over here, um, is kind of that Mount Zion area. So this would be like, um, Clayton County. And so it's neighboring, although it's in Henry County, it's, um, the city right before you start to get into Clayton County. So here's Jonesboro, which is a neighboring city, which is technically in Clayton County, but you see how close it is to the Stockbridge area. Um, so again, this is the Southern Crescent area. Um, they have Lake Spivey. Now Lake Spivey is a private lake, um, but if you're, you know, you're, you're able to um, get on there, have water activities and things of that nature and enjoy the lake, um, there's all types of restaurants um, that's going to be out in that area as well. Um, and then, you know, uh, they have different community parks and recreations that you can, you know, enjoy and bring the family to, to be able to enjoy as well. Now in that area, they have brand smart. So brand smart is, you know, Stockbridge. I think it's Stockbridge. I feel like it is Stockbridge. If it's not, it may have a um, like a Jonesboro um, or Mount Zion, not Jonesboro, but Mount Zion address. Um, but I mean, it's on that line. So it's, it's right there. So even if it's not technically in Stockbridge, because you're in Stockbridge, you can enjoy that, too. And you can just get like discount appliances, um, refrigerate, like refrigerators, dishwashers, um, TVs, um that type of store. So it's a great store, a uh, great local store. Um, they have a brand smart in this area and they have one on the north side as well. So you're able to enjoy that. Now, if you're in this area, you can go, I know it's like right here in the corner, but that's like 
South Lake 24, which is like the AMC as a movie theater. So you can enjoy that as well. Um, if you like that. Um, and then this is like the flipping area. So Jodico goes into like flipping road and then you can catch the highway from 75 is another area of Stockbridge. Um, and that's, you know, that's homes. That's kind of like, especially Jodico that's homes and our Jodico go into Lake Spivey. So really all through from the Lake Spivey to, to coming into flipping, you know, that's like your nice waterfront type homes um, that's near or even on the lake. And so, which is great. Also, there's the Spivey Splash Water Park, um, which is, you know, great for you to bring your family, friends, or if you just want to go by yourself, it's a man-made water park. And so they have slides and all that type of stuff. And you can even do like cookouts, um, at the pavilion and, and just have a really good time. They also have different like activities during, you know, um, the different seasons, you know, watch a movie on the lawn or, you know, uh, watch the fireworks and different things like that for you to be able, um, to enjoy. Okay. And so one thing about, um, so I told you about Lake Spivey. I also, we talked about flipping that community. Another community in the Stockbridge area is going to be your Eagles Landing community. Um, and so they even have a country golf club, uh, out there as well. And so that's going to be another one of the, um, more affluent, uh, communities. Um, now when it comes to, you know, um, again, the employment opportunity, there's going to be, you know, like there's a Carter distribution center, um, not necessarily in Stockbridge, but not too far away. There's going to be an Amazon distribution center as well. Um, and so there's just those type of jobs, um, in the area, some of the roads that you'll get familiar with, it's going to be like rock query road. Um, you're also going to, you know, uh, again, the major highway systems like 75, 285 and 675, that's going to lead you into, um, uh, Stockbridge area. Um, you're also going to have, uh, Eagles Landing Parkway, which is a lot of your businesses and things of that nature. And then they have, um, uh, you know, like different places to eat along kind of that route. Um, that you can, you know, stop for lunch. So this is going to be kind of like your uh, employment district. So they have like a lot of like attorney offices and just a lot of um, work related stuff along this Eagles Landing um, Parkway. Um, now in, in Stockbridge, you know, there's, you know, community things that um, they're always doing, um, but check out like the local library as well. I know I say this for all the cities, but don't sleep on the library. The library always have different events and things like that. And so if that's something that you want to, um, you know, uh, participate, then you can do that. Even even deeper on the map. So down in the Southern Crescent, the medical system that's down there is going to be Piedmont. So you're going to see a lot of Piedmont. So you got the Piedmont um, Hospital um, that's going to be down there. And you're going to see a lot of... Um, um, uh, outpatient care facilities that's going to be related to Piedmont as well. That's going to be in the area. So as you can see on the map, this is like that Eagles landing going into like the Hudson bridge area. And you have a whole lot of different medical facilities right in that area. All right. So if you are looking to join a community of people that is looking to move to Atlanta and just trying to figure it out together, be sure you hit that link in the description so you can join that community. And if you've had any experience with living in Stockbridge or you know about the Stockbridge area, go ahead and put in the chat below as it can be useful and helpful for some people. Now we are on the road to 1000 subscribers. So thank you for each and every one of you for continuing to watch uh, my videos and also share with someone you know who can use it. So until the next one, bye.